Hey guys, it's Lily. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are doing well. I have been playing around with this save file by Chrissy's Corner and it's definitely a save file that you will want to get. In the save file, two worlds, Willow Creek and Oasis Springs, have been completely redone. All of the other worlds are a work in progress, meaning that some families, homes, and lots are done but aren't 100% completed. So this save file has new families, updated townies, background stories, rentaled homes, and a few surprises that I want to show you. Guys, are you picking up what I'm putting down? These families are huge, multicultural, and all ready for you to jump in and play with. She even added her sim self in, which is pretty dope to me. Too bad she didn't add a backstory. That would have been cool to see. So first up, we're going to check out the Simmons family. It says Nathaniel and Jane started having kids really early in life and they just haven't stopped. But since they both want a big family, it's understandable. But since they already have their hands full with two kids, twin taller girls and money running tight, are they truly prepared for another unexpected surprise that's on the horizon? So we're here with Nathaniel and he's an archaeology scholar. He works as an assistant manager and has skills. This save file has relationships that are already built and formed. I love that. It makes it so easy to have fun gameplay. And traits? He has so many traits, which for me helps develop the sim character. It's so thorough. He has likes and dislikes. He has the workaholic lifestyle. And this is the surprise I'm talking about, guys. This is what I wanted to show you. He has a degree in communications. Chrissy has given the majority of her sims degrees, which is very realistic. It just brings the whole save file to life. Now moving on to his daughter, Trinity. She's a whiz kid. She is an A student in school, which I love that. She has ample amount of skills building already. Guys, she has kid friends. Look how many friends she has. Ignore the fact that most of them are bald because I don't have the packs. But still, look how many friends and relationships she has with these kids. She has the loner, fertile, and top-notch toddler traits. And she also has likes and dislikes. So here we are with Jane. She has the aspiration of big happy family. And look at this, guys. Her job is a stay-at-home parent. Jane has her hands full, keeping everything in her house running smoothly and keeping an eye on her and Nathaniel's ever-growing family. I love this little touch that adds so much to this save file. She has more than normal skills, already formed relationships, and so many traits. Look at all of these traits. She has likes and dislikes. She even has the coffee addict lifestyle. This is so hard to get in normal gameplay. Next up is Roman. He's an artistic prodigy. He's a B student and his skills are leveled up. And he has so many friendships as well. Look at all these kids. I just love this. And his traits are slob, fertile, and top-notch toddler. Here are their twins, Lauren and Lydia. These girls are so adorable. Toddlers even have skills that are worked on. She's friends with her family and her traits are wild and fertile. Now moving on to Lydia. She's clingy and she has a good amount of skills worked on as well. And she's also friends with her family. This family is awesome. Now let's take a look at their home. Already I'm in awe. I like that the home is bright and look at this kitchen. I could never create something like this. It's well furnished while not being overly cluttered. The rooms are spacious and easy for your sims to move around. And upstairs is just as bright. Look how cute the twins room is. I love the layout of this home. And look, the room for their unexpected surprise. <laughs> This house looks beautiful and they even have a little yard. Next up is the Ellis family. The Ellis family fits the definition of typical suburban family to a T. Caring parents, sweet twin kids, and an adorable little toddler, and a bratty teenager that enjoys nothing more than being the center of attention. Let's go see what they're up to. So we're here with Gordon. As we can see, he's a master chef. 
He is a sous chef in the culinary career. He has skills that are already defined and again, traits up the yin yang. He has likes and dislikes. He has the workaholic lifestyle and he has a degree in culinary arts. How bomb. Moving on to Corey. She is a freelance botanist and for her job, she's an artist. Being an artist is about seeing the beauty in everything. And that's something Corey has always excelled at. This is the touch I love about Chrissy's save file. As you can see, she has many skills. She has developed relationships and her traits are massive. She has so many and she has the companion trait for completing the soulmate aspiration. I love that. She also has likes and dislikes, and she has the outdoorsy lifestyle. And guys, fine art degree. Love it. Now we're here with her teenager, Vanessa. She wants to be a world famous celebrity. She's a C student, and she has well developed skills. And look at her friendship group. She has some enemies. Look how many reds that she has here. I wonder what's going on in high school with her. But look at all these enemies. I could see the drama forming in this family. Oh, and she even has a love interest. But I love that she has so many teen friends. And her traits are as equal as others. Likes and dislikes. And she has the health food nut lifestyle. That's what's up. Here we are with Ruben. He is a rambunctious scamp. He's a C student, his skills are developed, and he has some friends, not as much as the others. And he's a geek, fertile, and top-notch toddler. Likes and dislikes as the rest. And moving on to his sister, Rose. She's an artistic prodigy, she's a C student, her skills are developed, and she has friends. A little bit more than her brother. <laughs> I wonder what's up with him. But look at this, I just love it. She is so cute, Adriana. And her traits are loves outdoor, fertile, and top-notch toddler. And now we're here with Brian. He's the little one of the family. But you see the toddler skills are well-developed. He has family as his friends, and he is a silly kid. Look how pretty this house is. And look how spacious it is, it's bright. I love how she has this room for their creativity. All the kids have their own rooms. Bathrooms are nicely developed. It looks messy, but a clean mess. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> I just love it. This is really nice. This room is so pretty. I love it. And how awesome it is to have a pool in your backyard. So we have arrived to the Creekside Archive and Cafe. I just love the decorations of this cafe. How it's so nicely furnished with a lot of tables and chairs for your sims to enjoy. And over here we have the library area where your sims could study. A little space for the librarian. I love the fireplace, like that's awesome to have. And upstairs you have the same comfy decorations. Very bright. A lot of space for your friends to sit down and enjoy and outside is just gorgeous.
We are now in Oasis Springs. This is another world that has been completed. There are new community lots. Look how beautiful these lots are. We have new families. We have old families. We have beautiful houses. And I just love how developed the stories are with the townies that have already pre-existed. It's just amazing how she just played off of this. We have the Raw family. Is that a play off the Goths? I want to know. So we're here at the Oasis Spa and Gym. I had to hop into here because this gym and spa is massive. You have all of the necessities for your Sims to work out, relax, have a good time, chill out, get away from the home. Everything is here. And I love the outdoor yoga studio. This is so perfect. We are at the Ginger Snap Bakery owned by the Ryan's family. I'm not gonna give you a tour so that way this video won't be too long, but how cute is this building? I am so dying to play in this, and it's so nice that Chrissy created a family-owned bakery in her save file. Chrissy, you definitely outdid yourself with this one. So seeing how detailed Chrissy is with her families, I wanted to read off some of the profiles of the families in Oasis Springs. First up, meet the Roth family. They are one of the oldest in Oasis Springs, having made their family fortune from the mines that used to be in the area. In fact, there's so much history that comes with their name that when they got married, Monty actually adopted Morgana family's name. Having a legacy this old, however, means that there is also a lot of rivalries and expectations that come along with it. And unfortunately, that weight falls on Xavier. Will his family's expectations ruin his relationship with Cassandra? Oh, so they do have a relationship. So Xavier the teen does have a relationship with Cassandra Goth. Ooh, you guys will have to check this family out and see the drama unravel. The Garcias are just your average busy family. Zachary is an author. Daniela works as an art critic. Michaela wants to be an author just like her dad, while Jesse spends most of his time in his room on his PC. The twins, Taylor and Trevor, are little troublemakers they love tinkering with everything they can find and breaking most of it how cute is this family so we're in newcrest and what i wanted to do here is just show you some of the incomplete worlds like you'll see here the jensen family they're here but they don't have any kind of story and they don't have a home and that's what chrissy means by it's a work in progress she is still working on these families so when her next update comes out most of these families probably will have homes and this one has a story already so it just needs a home and i love the newcrest students these are students in their own housing there's no backstory to them but they are already enrolled in college they live in their university housing and guys this is furnished with foxberry i'm going to take you through the town in a little montage so that way you can see everything that i'm showing you from the map view and you'll see that she has all of these community lots that are already completed. So we have the Briggs family. They are completed. The house is done, but there's no story. So I'm sure Chrissy's going to be working on that. So the Griffith family, they're done. They have a house. They have their backstory. It says, Pace and McKenna Griffith have only been married for a little over six months and they are struggling a bit with money. McKenna loves cooking and gardening and would love to make a living as a chef, but unfortunately she has a bit of a slow start in the culinary career. Pace on the other hand is perfectly happy with just watching TV all day, but recently his wife convinced him to turn his love of fishing into somewhat a job to help pay their bills. That's what I'm talking about. Get him up off that couch. So that's what she means by a work in progress. You're going to see some things that are completed and some families and things aren't going to be completed. So we're here at the Magnolia Promenade and you'll see that she has the Eco Bistro. She has infamous records. This one is not done. And then we have the wall to wall toy store, which is bomb. Look how cute that is. In Windenburg, you'll see that there are some things that haven't been done, which we already spoke about. 
And there are things that are done, like the Brightchester students. This, this is similar to the Foxbury students over in Newcrest. How cute is this? And they have their own little university home. I love it. I love that she moved the party house over here and out of those ugly buildings that they lived over here. So here, look how cute Marcus Flex looks. How cute is he? And then we have our boy Paolo. We have Jada. We have Ava. And we have a newcomer, Olivia Clifford. I would love to know what their story is. I don't know if this is what originally came with this family, but I'm going to read it anyway. Drink, flirt, dances, and repeat. That's what Jade, Eva, and Olivia's days have looked like since their uni day. It's not the same. This is definitely new. This is what Chrissy wrote. And somehow that's still the case. Even though they are supposed to be grown-ups now with jobs of their own, after Jade's inheritance came in, the three girls decided to set up the ultimate party house together and even had space for two new roommates, best friends, Paolo and Marcus. Drama's never far behind when the five of them are together, which is almost always. I love that, Chrissy. That was so cute. And we have the Munch family that have been revamped. So we see, oh, Clara looks really good. Look at Mila. And we have Gunther. We have Wolfgang. And we still have our little Lucas. In their story, raising three kids is never easy, particularly when one refuses to move out of the house and one is a gloomy rebel. But Mila Munch is nothing if not dedicated to her family. And her sweet little Lucas always cheers her up after a hard day of restaurant work. I love this. I never played with this family. Never. But we're going to go move on. And we are in San Maishuno and already you could tell she has the Sky Lounge restaurant redone. She has celebrity roommates over here. Brittany Chow, Kayla Fleming. We have Izzy and we have Holly. So they all moved from Del Sol Valley. Well, Kayla and Holly, they're new and she doesn't have a story for them. So again, this is another WIP work in progress and her apartments are all done. Look how pretty these are. All of them are done and look at Salem he moved over to the fashion district I love it and so did Penny go girl so this is the Culpepper apartments in the spice district so we have Clifford in here we have the Babcock family we still have the Rasoya family over here okay and the beat has moved all right I like this Chris we are in the Jasmine Suites apartment still in the spice district and look how nice these builds are. She really outdid herself with these apartments. And let's see over here. This is the Medina Studio apartment. And you could just tell everything is redone. New families are moved in. And we have the hockey. Oh my goodness. Look how pretty this is. New families. Harley. We have the Jang family still in the house. I love it. This is so great. I'm not going to take you through all of the worlds because you'll be here all day, but you could tell she put so much effort into this. And we'll make one last stop into Solani just to see if anything's new. Right off the back, I see the Coconut Cafe. This is adorable. We have the Island Roomies. All of these guys weren't here before. I know this one was here. I think Mana, Mana Kahana Ana was there too. But they have Rosella Waters. They have Kan... Kanahoku, they have Kanola o Okano, and they have Mako Halani. I don't know why I did this backwards. And then they have Nane Puakai. I love these names. Really beautiful. So I'm going to wrap this video up here. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and drop me some love in the comment section below. If you're interested in downloading this save file, I'll have the download link in my description. And I'll also link Chrissy Corner's YouTube channel. She has a lot of great videos to watch. So take care, guys. Thank you so much again. And I will see you in another video soon. Bye, guys.